Welcome to Stepper Rocks. I am your host, Shane Motherfucking Stepper, and uh, this is a Stepper Live Monday broadcast coming to you from Chaos Studios. Um, so, hi, how you doing? Cool. Glad you're here. Um, that was me working on my intro a little bit. So, that's that. We got one heck of a show for you today, all by my lonesome, all by myself, once again, all by myself. It's a pretty interesting playing in a very amateur middle-aged um, rock band. So... Bandmates Chris, bandmates Charles, how you doing out there? Hit the fucking like buttons and comment. Um, <laughs> and the rest of you, enjoy the show and hopefully I'll earn your like buttons and comments. Uh, we'll see what happens as we go along. So, um, got quite an agenda for you today. Uh, but first, I, I want to take a drink. So... Today we're we're drinking this. What do you think of that? Does it look tasty? Not. It tastes exactly like emergency uh, vitamin supplement shit you take when you have a cold coming on. Um, yeah, it tastes like that shit mixed in water. Maybe with just a little teeny bit. It tastes like that mixed in skim milk. Um, so, yeah. Drinking that today. Um, I treat myself to special healthy drinks on Mondays. Because I don't fucking eat anything on Mondays. It's kind of my new thing this year. Um, no eating on Mondays. That's fucking dumb. So, yeah. I drink lots of what I perceive to be healthy juices now. On Mondays. And then look forward to eating um, oatmeal and nuts on Tuesday morning. And then back to half and normal. Not totally freaking healthy crazy yet obviously so all right got some um unwrapping for you guys today what's in the packages man um that's coming up in a little bit but first i need to decide which knife i'm gonna use to open those up so yeah. yeah. Am I gonna use this one? Hey, check that bad boy out. Uh huh. Or am I gonna use this one? Check that bad boy out. I wonder if I. Yeah. Hey, look at that. If I get some light on the subject, right? So we gotta you decide which knife to use. To open up the packages. That'll be part of the show. Um, we got to do some shameless self-promotion. Got to let you know what Chris and Charles are up to. Um, we are actively looking for a gig in like March or April, maybe the beginning of May. If you guys have any unique ideas in the surrounding Portland, Vancouver areas, um, let us know. Or if you wanna like fly us into, I don't know, Missouri and have us do a show there, let's talk. Um, 
But yeah, we're looking to kind of get out and do something live here in the near future. So if you're out there watching, um, s let us know somehow, some way, right? Our Facebook pages, um, email. So yeah, looking for a gig. Um, a live gig. Let's see, uh, I'm going to play a little bit of music for you here tonight. I'm looking forward to pounding on the drums for 5-10 minutes. Uh, the synth is always fun. And when I get the guitar in my hands, my objective will be to just kind of work through some newer songs that are in development. Uh, definitely got three of them in the works. Uh, names are subject to change, just placeholder, KTM, come with me and my life. My life we've played on stage, but I want to expand on it. And right now it just feels like some really cool parts looped a few times. And now I want to loop them a few times and then draw it into this cool other section. And then have that come out and then loop it one to more time, maybe two times. And possibly call it a song, a complete song. Um, so that's what I'll be doing music wise. Um, and yeah, anything else that comes to the top of my freaking mind is what we're going to do on this live broadcast this Monday from Chaos Studios. All right. Um, I don't know. That, oh, that's what I wanted to do. Right before I turned on this video, I wanted the freaking dogs to get in here. So let's get in here, dogs. Hey, Fluffy. Come on. Get off, Fluffers. Hey. You guys want to come in here? Come on, let's go. Come on, let's get in here. You, uh, you want a treat? You have to have a treat to come in the garage. Come over here and get a treat. Get a treat. Here's a treat. You a treat. Yes. Oh, good girl. <laughs> will you get off that? And will you get off this one too? Here's a treat. All right. Let's see. Uh, so. Yeah. I'm trying to get this back on here. All right. Yeah. All right. So I'm still thirsty. No, I can't drink that. I get all sticky. Um. Uh, hmm. So, uh, the video shoot for Future X is next weekend at McIver Park. Next Saturday afternoon, McIver Park. So, if you want to come hang out with us, we might be doing some autographs and things, you know? Um, come on out to McIver Park on Saturday. All right. And, yeah. There is going to be a wizard, but that wizard is not me, okay? So, let's put this on. Why am I doing this? I don't know. Why not? I didn't know that there was a little, uh, huh. I wonder what those are for. Oh, I 
think it maybe straps to the beard. Yeah, it does. Okay, so there we go. Uh, MacIver Park next Sunday. Yeah, or next Saturday. We're doing. <laughs> Roxy, what are you doing? All right. <coughs> yeah. What are you doing, Thumper? Come here. 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 You get up there. Okay. Thumper's up there too. Um. So we got some packages to unbox, right? Ah. Uh. Trying to decide if we should use this knife or if we should use this knife. All right, so if you take it out, you can get a better look at it. Look at that knife. Not too bad, huh? Right? Looks pretty cool. Uh huh. Has a brass thingy. Another brass thingy. It's probably a full tang screwed in there. And it has that uh, kind of katana tip. I think that's why I bought it. I've had this when I, since I've probably been in my teens. So, alright. So, yeah, we want to decide if we want to use that one. Or, should we use this one? Look at this one. Oh, do you see that blade? Do you see it? It's not dirty. What is going on there? All right. It's pinged. It's pinged over there. It's a full tang, I believe. That's probably called a brass guard, I think. And this one is very sharp. It's the Damascus steel. See? Damascus steel. So now that you have more awareness between the two types of knives, this one or this one, why don't you go ahead and leave it in the comment section for me and tell me why you chose that. Okay. Shameless self-promotion uh, follow along with me I have my cell phone out All right and I'm gonna go to the YouTube page right there and up in the search thing up here I'm gonna type in stepper rocks and start scrolling down through options. Hey look, there's a step or something. Live Monday broadcast. Oh, that's the live one. That's it, that's this, right here. Yeah, it's working. Roxy, what are you doing? Okay, Roxy wasn't doing anything wrong. I just like to, you know. Okay, I'm gonna hit that. Ooh, look at that. There's a delay. Okay, so once you get here, here's the real trick that I took, couldn't figure out. It really pisses me off. I want to hit the like button for this because I want to shamelessly self-promote my own freaking stuff. Duh. But there's no like button. There's no share. Where's it at? Where is it at? Well, here's the trick. You have to hit that stupid X. Hit that X. Push it. And then look at that. Now, you have the ability to do more stuff. Like hit the thumbs up button. And then share. And so I'm going to hit the share button too. And I'm going to copy the link. And then, 
I'm going to go to, should I go to the band page or should I go to my personal Facebook page? I've never just posted it straight up to my personal Facebook page. Should I do that today? Why not? Leave it in the comment section. Okay. I hit it. And I'm going to hold down. And paste. Alright, see the link is in there? Now I'm going to hit the done button. Alright. I don't know. That's a good shameless self-promotion situation, right? Yeah, so... Um, once again, happy Monday, if you're just joining the show, uh, my bandmates aren't here with me today, Chris, drummer Chris, uh, you should go to his, uh, Facebook page, Chris, Chris, well, you know, if you know him, go to his Facebook page, um, and, uh, let him know that, you know, everything is, uh, really cool. And just appreciate him being around and glad he's on the mend. If you guys haven't heard, you know, Chris has had some rough times uh, health-wise. But man, that dude is trucking on through and really glad to have him pounding away on the drums when he's here. But today, he decided he wanted to go to some game and watch the game. And Chris likes to watch games. He loves watching games. So, you know, go talk about games with Chris. He loves that shit. Um, and then Charles, bass player Charles. Uh, did you guys listen to the broadcast last week? We were sounding pretty freaking righteous in the broadcast last week. Charles, you got a new bass head. A uh, Harley Benton bass head. 800 watt bass head. Man, it sounded good in here. It sounded good. Good, good in here. <laughs> so, um, if you're just joining the show, thank you for being here. And you know what could really, really, really help? I mean, I'm being pretty funny and wearing a stupid outfit, and the dog is in the video. Can we get a like button hit? Just one like button hit. Come on, give it to me. Give it to me. Give it to me. Give it to me. The one like button hit of the day. Give it to me. <laughs> um, Charles, bass player Charles. He is, he is in a battle. He is in a battle with his F, his nose. He is fighting a sinus infection. He is going commando on that effing sinus infection, man. Commando man going Charles with his sinus infection. So Charles, you kick that sinus infection's ass, buddy. And I can't wait till we get you back in here and making some freaking loud noise again. Alright. Yeah. How's it going out there, YouTube world? We're just cruising right along, aren't we? Um, so, I want to take this stuff off, oh, yes, 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 and put it on Roxy, ah, 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 uh -oh, she's probably going to pee on it, Roxy, don't pee on it. All right, there. Bumper, what are you doing, huh? Come here, come here. Get up on the couch. There. All right. Future X 
It's on Spotify and Pandora for sure. 100% fact check that myself. And it is there. So you should go check it out and share it. If you want to, and you think it's worth it, you know. It's just a fucking song. It's a pretty decent song for me. It's no Imagine by John Lennon, but you know. I'm no John Lennon. Um, let's go ahead and turn the light a little bit this way. And I think now when I put something into camera, er, so you can get a better look at this because it's a little closer to the lens. That's the Damascus one. Um. What we want to do is unbox these and figure out what's in them. Let's try this one first. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Just like a fish. Look at that! Sweet! Exciting! Look at it! Ta-da! Picks! My favorite kind of guitar picks. Um, let's get them out of there. Nice, crispy... What the fuck am I doing with this thing on here? Okay. Don't need this on no more. picks I use. I like them because they're thin and nice and bendy. And I know that a whole bunch of other people don't like to use thin picks, especially people that shred and play metal and shit, but what the fuck ever, I do. This is what I use. Um, in the past, I've found other thin picks. Um, such as like these. That's a real thin pick and it it, it bends fairly uh, in a very similar way to the ones I like. Um, but the problem is that with those ones after they bend and go like this like 2,000 times they just like break right in the center. They just like crack in half. Um, where these never crack on me, they never split apart, but what they do is they round down quite a bit, so, um, you can see the differences in the tips, so this has been used for quite a while, and, uh, these are freshies, and that's what I like, it really digs in there, um, and now I got a total of, um, one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, skip a few. About 12 of them. Um, for, I don't know, I think this was like five bucks. 12 for five bucks. So, um, I like that. And when 
I buy picks. Usually I'm kind of thinking in the, you know, I don't want to buy picks for another two or three years probably. Uh, so I bought two packages. What is that, 24 picks? I'll put two or three of them in my wallet. So yeah, and um, I like to load them up in this thingy. I like to load them up in that thingy. You know, I'm starting to get thirsty again. So that was literally my first package opening video. What'd you think? Did you like that? It's pretty cool, huh? Should I do more of those? Whatever. Alright, and here's the other ones. And I'm just gonna put those in my master pick carrying thing, all my picks picks through the years. Alright. Um. Alright. And what do we have in the next package? What do we have in this package? Hey, what do you guys know about selling calls? Um, getting a premium and strike prices and selling calls out a month in advance. Um, what do you know about selling our futures? Um, I don't know. These are topics that are captivating my brain. So, all right. So we got this package. It was delivered to my door today. I'm gonna put this knife right through it and slice it. And just because this knife is cool and we want to at least use it one more time, slice it like butter, man. Here, let's see if we can uh, see the Damascus blade there. See that? That's a pretty one, isn't it? Has a concave grind right here. Um, so yeah, I like this one. This is a good knife. The other knife is just a junk. I think I bought it. I, I bought this for like 20 bucks when I was pre-20 years old because it looked cool from a gun show. Um, I think the metal's just 440 stainless. But the thing is, is it is put together. It has never come apart. And man, I've really abused this thing. Um, but that other Damascus knife is just so much better. Okay. So we're back to this. All right. Dun, dun, dun. Look what we got. Look at those. Look at those. Green. Yeah, I don't know if you remember, but last week um, I broke uh, the high E string on the um, on the Gothic Explorer. So I needed to replace that, and that means I'm going to replace all six of them. But something I did do is change to 10s from 11. Um, I least seem to like the bendability of 10s a little bit better. So I'm going to switch over to those. Uh, double check my intuition. Intuition. That's not the right word. Um, forgetting the word at the moment. Not toning. Imitate. Imitate. I don't know. I'm saying that word weird. It's just best if I move on and then come back to something like that. 
If I dwell, I'll just start not getting it at all forever. Intonate it. Is what I'll double check. Maybe I'll do a video putting these bad boys on. Haven't done a video like that before. A guitar stringing event. Yeah. All right. Um. It's about time to make some freaking noise, isn't it? So this whole music adventure I've been on pretty much my entire friggin' life I can track back to a couple experiences when I was a kid that um, I don't know made in my head <coughs> it was like some kind of path there to follow <coughs> something I liked um, so I'll just share one of those experiences with you today so the first thing I'm gonna do once I switch up this camera view um, switch up the lighting a little bit turn down the focus right to about 60% um, the first thing I'm gonna do is go sit behind the drums for five to ten minutes and I suck at, I'm no drummer I don't even have a damn drum badge yet I cannot say I am a drummer to anybody it's illegal it's against our code and our morals um, I would be struck down by the music gods so I do like going and sitting behind the drums for five to ten minutes and making an effing racket, man. Because that reminds me of one of my first musical experiences when I was a young wee little lad out at the house in Redland just after it was built. Of course, there was a couple brand new metal trash cans on the side of the house. Two of them. Two full-sized metal trash cans. Can you see that in your head? What I used to really enjoy doing was going over to those metal trash cans with my hands and just bam 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 banging away on those metal drums. And what did I like? You can imagine it made one hell of a racket. But, you know, it was a specific timed racket with a rhythm of whatever I thought I was rhythming out in my head. And it was that really big sound off those uh, metal trash cans that just captivated my attention. So, with as shitty as these live broadcasts are, there are moments through these videos you can pick up um, us making some really big fucking sound in this garage um, and that's that's what it's all about all right so um, let's switch up some camera views and go play some drums do I look like Kurt Russell today Leave your answer in the comment section. Na 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 na
no, 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 Keeping the bald spot out of the camera. I am not a drummer. Do not call me a drummer.
tricked out the sin. Having to do a full reset to get it out of that mode. Thank you. 
ladies and gentlemen, thank you for tuning in to another live Stepper Monday broadcast. Um, like buttons and sharing and just, I don't know, watching period. Thank you for watching period. Um, I hope I earned the rest. So take it easy. Uh, have a good week. And until next Monday. All right. Bye. Roxy Doxy, get on the couch. Come on. Over, over. Over, over. No bald spots. Stop looking for my damn bald spots. Someday I'll make a bald spot compilation video for you. Fucking people looking up bald spots and making jack off. Pay for it. Wait, I think I already got one of those pages, don't I? No, I don't. I'm just fucking joking. I do not have an OnlyFans page. Yet. Do you? Leave it in the comments section. Oh, jeez. All right. It's about time to sign this puppy down. Down and right off. About time to sign it off. Yep. So I'm signing it off and I'll see you in population one. I'm uh, not gonna tell you my name in population one. Just know it's a good chance I'll probably kill you in the game, because I'm good at doing that in the game. Alright, um, looking for the exit button. I'm going to hit the exit button in three, two, Roxy, say goodbye. Say goodbye. Say goodbye, Roxy. Alright, bye, Roxy. You speak? 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 Come on. Speak. Say bye. Say bye to your people. Okay. Later. <laughs>